of core java tutorials okay so to, today's topic is uh, iterative statements one of the iterative statements which is do while uh, so in the previous session we have seen while so we'll just try to compare while and do while with an analogy uh, so while is like uh, the condition need to be satisfied uh, uh, to execute the body of the loop like satisfying the condition is very important it is like boarding your flight if you're not having the ticket you cannot board the flight in the same way like uh, if you are not showing your id card to the security in front of the gate you are not permitted to enter into the college so while to execute the body of the while uh, the con satisfying the condition is very important uh, but let let me give you another real life analogy for do while uh, do while is like going to a atm center even if your card is invalid uh, at least the atm machine will show you the welcome message and then your card is put and then uh, whether the card is valid or not is evaluated and if uh, the card is valid then the transactions will proceed forward else uh, it will ask you to leave because the card, card is not valid so at least once like the welcome message or something that you want to print is printed on the okay another real life uh, analogy can be going to your restaurant for ordering food uh, irrespective of uh, whether you order food or not the first thing that uh, um, the service uh, a person will do is show you the menu uh, so after looking into the menu if you are happy with uh, your uh, uh, with the food uh, then you will order for the food if you like the food then you will order the food else you will leave the restaurant and try to go to another restaurant or if you like you will order so it is similar way like do while will make you execute the loop at least once so let us just try to look into that so there are two kinds of loop as we already seen in the pre previous uh, uh, session uh, there is entry control loop and exit control loop and do while is one kind of exit control loop and this is the only one uh, that java is having like which is exit control loop we'll see what does it mean by when i explain you the general form and uh, here the loop will be executed at least once at least once irrespective of the condition being true or false okay so the loop will execute at least once so take a look at the general form the general form is do which is a keyword followed by a, cur a curly braces and then inside between this curly braces i'll be giving the body of the uh, do while and then after the curly braces i'll be writing while and then the condition and this semicolon is mandatory you need to put it else you will get a syntax error so what does this condition mean so this condition means that it is controlling expression it is controlling expression this controlling expression based on this controlling expression the loop will be executed okay based on the controlling expression the loop will be executed and there should be something which will be updating your controlling expression if your controlling expression is not updated what happens is the loop will get into infinite loop so there should be some strategy inside your body of the do or inside your while somewhere you have to put something which will be updating your controlling expression so this is regarding the do while let me tell you how this works okay so get into the flow chart now what happens is uh, uh, now what happens is like uh, the do task will be executed irrespective of any condition at least once it will be executed after the do block then what happens is the condition is evaluated and there will be two outcomes of any any condition one is true and false if the condition is true what happens is again the do block will be executed if it is false then the statement immediately after this do while will start executing okay so if if this this loop will keep on executing so this is nothing but a loop this will keep on executing till this condition become false okay so the termination the termination condition is encountered till the termination condition is encountered this loops keep on executing so the same set of instructions so here the same set of instructions are keeping executed okay so, so the same set of instructions are executed again and again um, uh, it, I mean it depends on what is the logic if you have such kind of scenario in your program you will be picking while or do while and based on whether it is entry or exit you will be deciding whether to choose while or do while so let us take a look into the program now 
just take a look at this program wherein we are trying to print the numbers from 5 to 1 okay in reverse order 5 4 3 2 1 so for that we have declared a variable which is n is equal to 5 and this n uh, is uh, here we are using this n as the controlling variable okay so loop controlling variable we are using this n to be as the loop controlling variable okay so the value of n is equal to 5 and then we are starting the do irrespective of checking the condition the loop will be executed so what will happen on the output screen so the on the output screen it will encounter the system dot out dot println and n so what's the value of n so n is 5 so 5 will be printed on the screen and then we are having some decrement operator over here for n as I already told you that whenever you are having a variable which is controlling the loop there should be a mechanism to update that controlling variable and the mechanism can be like incrementing decrementing it can be some expression also but you need to have a mechanism for updating the loop controlling variable if for example I am not putting this what will happen if for example I don't have this updating variable so what happens this expression will always be true okay so it will always be true and this will lead into infinity loop okay so this will lead into infinity loop and you don't want to execute a loop infinite times okay so in programming we don't want that unless and until it is a very specific case we don't want such things to happen so this kind of uh, controlling the loop update uh, loop variable updating the loop variable is very important so i said like n minus min minus okay so let us see what happens over here so n will become n n minus minus wherein 5 will become 4 now what happens it comes to this particular while and checks whether 4 is greater than 0 so this is true again so because this is true what happens it goes again to the do block and what is there inside it so it is again asking to print the value of n now the value of n is 4 so again it comes to the decrement so now n has become 3 okay so again the condition checks so this is very important like you update the loop controlling variable so 3 is greater than 0 so it is true again it enters and prints the value of n so which is 3 and then n minus minus it becomes 2 now 2 is greater than 0 it prints 2 on the screen again it becomes 1 1 is greater than 0 so it is true 1 is printed on the screen and now n has become 0 so 0 is greater than 0 is false so now what happened is this loop breaks and it comes to the immediate next statement after the while so immediate next statement is in between these two brackets and there are no statements here to execute so this program will terminate so i hope everybody understood this program one very important point that you need to remember here is you can also keep this kind of updation inside your while rather than writing it in two statements i can also put it in the single while how can i do that i can write it like while minus minus n is greater than zero what did i do over here i have put the updation of the loop controlling variable inside the while itself you can also write them like this rather than having two statements i have put it in a single statement now since uh, this uh, uh, pre-increment is having higher priority than greater than so this will execute first minus minus n will execute first and then what happens the result will be checked with the greater than symbol so the priority of operators also will be applied over here rather than writing two statements i can put everything in a single statement but remember that there should be a loop controlling variable and also you need to update the loop controlling variable so that it doesn't go into an infinite loop so we'll see another example now okay friends uh, so this is the main purpose of why we use do while do while is generally used for uh, menu selection or menu driven programs so they're generally used for that okay so herein i have written a program for depicting this menu driven or menu selection process by using a do while so say i'm having uh, uh, two integer values x and y i want to perform various operations in between these two variables say i want to perform at one point i want to perform addition subtraction and multiplication and all that so we are showing that in the do while so here i have taken a uh, taken a scanner class because i'm reading the input from the user so if you want to read the input from the user you have to use the scanner class you have to include the scanner class in your program 
and uh, the scanner class is in the package java.util so you have to import that in your program and write this statement uh, so that you can use the object of the scanner class uh, so okay fine let us get into our topic now so here i have given do inside do i have given the menu okay so this is the menu statement i said uh, for one uh, for addition they have to type in one and for subtraction they have to type in two and for multiplication they have to type three okay so this is the menu printing and then i am asking the user to enter the choice so based on his requirement if you want addition he'll be entering one if you want subtraction he'll be entering two and all that so we are reading we are, th this is an um, uh, interactive statement we are asking to enter the choice and then we are saying choice is equal to sc dot next int by doing this we'll be reading an integer from the console right so as soon as reading the choice we are sending into a switch over here so choice is sent for example the user has selected two so what is the choice choice is two so based on the choice the consecutive uh, uh, case will be selected so case two will be selected what is there in case two so we are performing subtraction because the user has asked for subtraction so what will be printed on the screen so on the output screen so x minus y and x minus 1 um, y will be performed so 10 minus 20 which will be minus 10 okay so on the screen minus 10 will be printed and since there is a break what will happen so it will come out of the switch so uh, it will come to the immediate next statement after switch so that is here so there is no statement here uh, to be executed so it will go to the next statement and which is while so now it will check for the condition so see friends what is happening over here is at least once before the condition evaluation at least once the loop is executed for us the, the do while is especially used for these kind of programs and uh, so now it will check for the choice what did the user give he gave 2 2 is greater than or equal to 1 so this is true and and both the conditions need to be matched because we don't want user to select the values which are out of the menu like minuses and uh, uh, other than 3 because here we have the menu list is holding only 3 values which is 1, 2 and 3 so we want the user only to select between 1, 2 and 3 so based on that we have performed this we have framed this controlling expression so and the choice which is 2, 2 is less than or equal to 3 which is true because both the conditions are true then what happens uh, uh, it will go to the next iteration of the do. Okay so in the next uh, uh, execution of this statement so again the menu is shown to the user and we are asking the user to enter his choice. So he can enter whatever choice he want maybe he entered 1 what will happen now the choice is 1 so what will happen on the output screen case 1 is selected which is x and y which is equal to 30 will be printed since there is a break what will happen it will break come to this particular point so 1 is greater than or equal to 1 which is true and 1 is less than or equal to 3 which is true so it will go for the next iteration of the do statement say he has entered 3 now ok so what happens 3 will be selected and which will print on the screen x into y that is equal to 20, uh, 200 ok so now the output will be 200 now again it will check for the case which is uh, 3 now 3 is greater than or equal to 1 is true and 3 is less than or equal to 3 is uh, true so what happens it goes for the next iteration ok so in the next iteration say the user has given 4 so what happens the choice is 4 now since none of the cases are matched what happens the default statement will be executed which will tell the user that it is invalid choice it will tell the user that it is invalid choice and then it will come to check for the choice now what happens 4 is greater than or equal to 1 this is true okay but what will happen 4 is less than or equal to 3 this becomes false since there is a logical and over here now the while entire while has become false so what will happen so the do while is broken so the loop is broken now and it will go to the immediate next statement after this do while so it comes over here since there are no statements here to be executed what will happen the loop will um, the uh, the program will terminate so well friends this is one of the very important uh, purpose of the do while 
So apart from this, let us look into some very uh, important things that you need to keep in mind while writing the programs. So the evaluation of the controlling expression will always be written in a Boolean value. So you always have to make sure it's not like your C programming wherein you can write while one and all that. So in C programming, if I simply write one while one, this is what we'll be using this to execute and uh, while for infinity times. Um, based on and at some point if you want to break this we will be um, using exit zero so that is how you can break it from the while in C programming but here you cannot use such kind of things okay so whatever the expression will be expression will be the boolean will return the boolean type like I have used a switch inside the uh, do okay so in the same manner you can have inside your do you can have if constructs or you can also have for constructs or you can also have while so any combination of all the control flows that we are talking about you can have one inside the other you can also have a do inside while or do inside for and all that so all the combinations of the control flows that we are talking about everything is valid provided that you put them in proper syntax uh, hope this video is helpful to you stay home stay safe happy learning bye